<laughs> oh my god, back in 2007, this part of this city looked like pure shit from hell. It looked like some angel just was flying overhead and looked shit. And Will Ferrell became Kinston. But no, 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 no. Stephen and Tyler Hill, astute businessmen who had become millionaires far away from this city, came back home because this was their hometown. And they loved the city of Kinston. And so they bought up Mitchelltown, another deal. They bought up this block from North Heritage towards Queen. It opened some ritzy businesses. Ritzy businesses. The chef and the farmer, the, 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 they opened up the red, well, they opened up the red room, a nightclub where they have karaoke and live bands. They own the business, this, that, the tap room, the ginger rope 108, the chef and the farm, which is featured on PBS public broadcasting station, which gets his produce from local farmers. He even built, had built a five-star hotel. But what good is it doing in this city? Stay tuned and you'll see. Just watch a fucking video. They bought that shit over there. They used to, they used to sell cupcakes there. I think this is new, but they sure can. Okay. Don't look like the new. It looks like it looks like I'll try it after all. This goddamn cupcake shop. Up police. Open for pre-orders only. Relocating. What the fuck is wrong with this part of the city, motherfuckers? Oh, oh, I forgot. It's too close to the goddamn ghetto. The goddamn dope dealers and goddamn shootings. Okay, I just smelled the sweet smell of reefer being smoked down here on Atkin fucking street. And you're gonna see the ones who are fucking smoking the motherfucking shit, no doubt. God damn it. Do you get the fucking pitch? and the farmer in the goddamn red room where the goddamn sweet pea pie cupcake shop was so they re relocated for our fear of this goddamn area, the goddamn city. 
and three blocks away is a god damn tap room. Can you, have you ever seen, have you ever in your goddamn life see the place in your ghetto? And this goddamn shit. Oh, one block over there, beyond there, used to be the Jesus Whore House. The Motor Lodge. The Crack House Whore House. You could get any fucking drug you wanted there. Welcome to the Crack House Whore House of Kinston, North Carolina. The City Crack House Whore House. Commonly known as the fucking goddamn Kinston fucking Motor Lodge. There's the fucking goddamn crack house whorehouse in Kinston. You see this shit? You see this shit? There's always a sheriff's deputy car here. Fucking always. Every time I come by here, 24 fucking goddamn 7. As I'm told, the sheriff's deputy owns this fucking place. Get a better view of this place. Trail of trash up the yin yang in this fucking place. <laughs> I mean, sucker should never do it. <laughs> All right, this place has, is closing, has closed. Now that makes me feel so nice and so gives me a quiver in my liver. As old lost gold P. Cold Train used to sound the Dukes of Hazard. I get the good old Dukes of Hazard, not this new bu bullshit with Jessica Simpson. Now, why in the fuck am I happy this place is closing now? It's because. I remember seeing a singer there, singing for the crowds. Yes, yeah, singing for the crowds. She was in high school, and I could get the vibes. I went up, saw her, said hey to her, I, and I could get the vibes. She did not like me. She did not hate me. But I kind of got the vibes that she felt uh, uncomfortable with me complimenting her, complimenting her. And I tried to ask him if I could sing. And got a non-committal response. So, why in the goddamn fuck do I want this to be a musical town with bands thriving in the city? When my, when nobody lets me sing at their place to make money? When they're slapping me in, slapping me in the face, telling me that my shit ain't good enough? So it makes me happy. There will never be another singer or band here serenading the masses, eating their cupcakes, because this place is fucking closed. Stephen Hill sucker could never do it. Every business that opens up here is going to start out strong and get weak and weaker and weaker until going out of the fucking business. That's just the way it is here in Kinston. Because Kinston, goddamn it, sucks cunt. And until I get recognized and legitimized and validated as a rapper, I will be goddamned if I want this city to thrive and succeed. Until that happens, I currently, uh, and because that is not happening, I curse the city of Kinston to failure. Because I feel so devalued when the city is thriving and the girls don't think I'm good, good and, and people don't see me as standing out from the crowd. When they see me not only, not just as another face in the crowd, but someone retarded. I curse the city. If I have, I curse the city. I curse this area, this rich, these rich blocks. I curse the red room. I curse all the the tap room. I curse the chef and the farmer. For that guy who kicked me out. 
because I went and talked to a friend of mine. She asked me to come over and talk to her. And he tried, and he swore I was bothering his customers. And she tried to tell him, no, she called me over, and he kicked me out anyways. I, I cursed him with the, my diseases to transfer my symptoms, which have no ex uh, diagnosis upon him, so that he suffers for the rest of his life. Instead of me, if I can do that. I curse this city. I curse this city, the financial and economic depression. The perpetual economic depression. Until I get validated. Until I, at least, the very fucking least, get validated. And loved in the same way these bands and singers are validated and loved. Fans. Now, if I was a good-looking, hot guy, especially if I had those long arms, I would want the city to thrive and become a hustling and bustling boom town. I would want girls, good-looking girls, to fill the city, the bands to fill the city, even if I wasn't among them, because at least I would be good-looking. At least I would be standing out from the rest of the crowd as good looking or one of the good looking people at least I could find that sexual healing because I had the long arms these good looking long arm girls who in essence are superior to me because they look so good and got long arms than I do and are stronger than I am yes I am weak because this mother the blood, there's nerve damage the doctors can't figure out what the fuck it is so I use this negative energy that's all in me to curse the city of Kinston. Until I become what I want to become, until I become validated, I curse the city perpetually with economic ruin and depression and perpetual failure, inability to succeed. I curse the new baseball team. Plus, may they have to pack right the fuck up and go back to where they fucking came from. I curse this city with more shootings and violence. Because I'm heart sick. Hope the fur makes the heart sick. That motherfucker's got the money he could make my dreams come true. And in exchange, let me work with him. So I'm willing to run drugs for you Mexican drug cartels to get the money to get the cotton of surgery. And the stem cell that I so desperately need to be normal again because Medicaid, Medicare won't cover it and I ain't got the fucking money to pay for it and nobody's gonna pay for it for me. 19 goddamn shootings. Hey, is it true they've had 19 shootings out down there in this top part of the city? Yeah. 19 shooting, where, 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 all, where all over Kinston or just down here in the hood? Just down here in the hood? Just down here in the hood? 19 goddamn shootings. In the past goddamn month, I got arrested. The cops came in one night when Rebecca Todd was singing and arrested me for a, a charge brought against me by some motherfucker in Newburn. When I came back, Tony Pinel said, you can't come in here anymore. You, we can't have the cops coming around here. I wonder why. He said, but I'll talk to those above me and just let you back in. When they, when a bar says they don't want the cops around, you know there's something fishy going on. You know there's a rotten egg that does it. You know you're going to find a long string of black, black hair and your pepperoni pizza. Because I have seen it with my own eyes, smelled it with my own nostrils. I personally think they should legalize pot. But when Chrissy, that cunt, barred me from measuring arms, and I went above her head to Stephen Hill, she, who said I could measure arms. What's the point in coming to a nightclub if I, if I cannot measure arms with the females? There's no fucking point. Right here, I'd range the fucking cameras. And get this, they had some motherfucking guy from Goldboro and some friend of his break in September 1st to the Red Room. 
This guy comes all the way from Goldsboro on a, I think it was a Tuesday or a Wednesday night to break into the Red Room when the Red Room doesn't open until Thursday. So if there's going to be a lot of money in there, you would think it would come on a Saturday. Well, with all the with Christy, the ball manager's girl, I've seen her smoking and dealing in drugs. And from rumors I've heard that Christy is in up in it up to her n nose. I wonder, did he break into the red room? Not so much looking for ga cash, but for a cachet, a stash, a pop. <laughs> I can only wonder, like the song says. Breaking in on a Tuesday night. Coming all the way 25 miles from Goldsboro just to break into the Red Room. Something's fishy here. That has to be more to the story. And I'm going to find out. I'll show, if I, I'll show you the clip in the newspaper. So... Being that this place is next to the door, the, the hood and the kissing, I predict in a year and a half we're gonna have a shooting or something like that go down in this motherfucking place right here. Something serious, some serious shit go down here at the red room. How are you, how are you gonna feel if they call my bluff and shoot and kill me? At least I won't have to live with this fucking pain. How are you going to feel knowing you could have killed this pain without me having to die? As if you really, as if you rich motherfuckers give a fucking shit about something like me. I ain't good looking enough. Sure I have a good Doritos commercial, but I can't rap worth a shit. Especially with this goddamn aphasia. I hope you looked it up on the goddamn internet. <laughs> it's never going to stop. Sucker. He shall never do this. <laughs> Not with your glitchy block. Sandwich between two layers of shit ghetto. <laughs> Um, if me, my plan, I'd buy, start buying up the ghetto and start making it and start getting them something to be proud of. And yes, I'd hire security. But I'd hire black police officers, black security guards to let them know that the blacks are just as capable of doing the jobs job is white. You know what? I'm so fucking sick and tired of everywhere I try to go, of every time I try to do something, somebody's always fucking cop fucking me. So you know what I got you know what I gotta do? I gotta grab a hold of that cop and rip it off. And then I can get what I want. Look, you let somebody keep you let everywhere you turn, you find yourself cock block. That shit gets old. Real fucking quick. I ain't taking this shit.